Long-Term Sustainable Solutions for Immediate Challenges. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 277. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 277, July 15th, 2018 edition. Second piece in a three part series. Last week we talked about making the world work for everybody, and this week I want to talk about long term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges. And long term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges are what one community is creating. Like the immediate challenge right now is people are, a lot of people living in the traditional model are really unhappy. They're working in jobs that are unfulfilling, they're living in environments that don't meet their needs, that aren't producing high quality air, water, food, uh, social environment. They want more out of life. They want their life to mean something. And so long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges is addressing the immediate challenge of people aren't as happy as they could be. And our food quality is not as good as it could be. And our water quality and our air quality. And a lot of people would like to live on sustainable energy. They'd like to not be supporting fossil fuels that have caused so much destruction around the planet. And a lot of people would like to be doing something where they feel like they're giving back to society. A lot of people would just like to have an environment where they feel happier on a daily basis, where they can interact with friends and family and a social uh, structure that provides more fulfilling things to do with their time and more time to do those things. And so our approach to long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges is to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And that's living for the highest good of all life on this planet, of all people, and of course, for the individual and for their families and friends, creating an environment of cooperation and collaboration instead of competition that provides a living environment that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And the way that we're doing that is by building on a foundation of physical sustainability. And so these are three components of what we call highest good living, the highest good food, highest good energy, and highest good housing. All sustainable models designed to provide better, longer lasting uh, housing, and by housing as well as higher quality food uh, and sustainable energy to reduce the overhead of living and to provide more freedom in people's lives. And then we have the highest good emotional sides of, the, of what it is that we're creating, which would be highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, as well as true stewardship. And we call these the emotional aspects of highest good living because they meet those needs of the soul. They are environments of, of enrichment where people can constantly grow and improve their knowledge and their experience in the world and have experiences that they might not be able to have otherwise. It's basically taking the idea of Club Med or a cruise and bring it together into a teacher demonstration hub, into a sustainable community model where part of existing within that model, in our model, the way that we're doing it, and other people don't have to do this, but one community is designed to provide more activities for people to do and more free time for people to enjoy those activities than any traditional living model. The idea being that within one community, the time and energy that people put into surviving, into meeting their needs, into providing the basic foundations of what they need to be happy to live, to be comfortable, is will leave more free time than a traditional working environment, significantly more free time. And the environment itself includes all these different ways to use that time. And so if you want to see details about this, visit our Fulfilled Living page. Check that out and you can read all about it. Our whole website goes into details of this. But the idea is that long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges is looking out into the future and saying, hey, right now the immediate challenge is homelessness. Right now the immediate challenge is people are starving. Right now the immediate challenge is there's like 50% of the population don't have access to the internet or energy infrastructure. You know, right now the immediate challenge is, is social injustice and inequality. Right now the immediate challenge is the quality of our education is for most people really really poor and we have the ability to create an open source and free shared education model that everybody can participate in that can be globally cooperative and collaborative and people 
could contribute to it and make it better over time so that it grows indefinitely and anybody would be able to access it because it's web-based. We have the ability to create long-term sustainable solutions that address our immediate challenges and one community is doing this. And this is what our whole highest good living, highest good creation process is about. And it's designed to create solutions today that will create a completely sustainable civilization within our lifetime. And if you run the numbers on what it is that we're doing, it is absolutely possible to take 50 people and bring them together and to create one community, a place where people will be able to come and experience it, starting with hundreds, growing to thousands, eventually tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people visiting annually, experiencing what one community is, and open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to replicate one community so that people can take what they like and they can duplicate it. They can take what they like and they can evolve it and make it better. And if they want to open source and free share what it is that they're doing as well, then we can work in cooperation and collaboration to increase the suite of open source solutions that we're both providing and therefore bring in more and more people to help and make it easier and easier to replicate. And so if you imagine 50 people starting something like this, and if those 50 people launching one community, if we can inspire just two more groups to start the year after that, and that would be another group, say two groups of 20 or 50 people. And if those, if us in working and sharing what it is that we're doing with those two groups, if the three of us can then inspire four more groups the year after that to get started with something like this, and then eight the year after that, and then 16 more, and 32 and 64, if you run those numbers, within 30 years, we could live in a completely sustainable planet that truly meets the needs of every single person, that works for everybody. And we all have created long-term sustainable solutions that address all of our immediate challenges and are adaptable and flexible enough to continue on indefinitely. This is what One Community is creating. We see it as a path to a, a better way of living. We see it as a path to a healthier way of living, a more holistic approach to giving more than it takes and to creating a sustainable world that benefits everyone. And we can't see really any more noble or fun uh, process and venture to embark upon, to invest our time and energy in. And so we're inviting anybody that's interested in this to join us, get involved in what it is that we're doing, help us create this, help us open source and free share all the details so that people around the world will have access to them and can replicate them, evolve them, and grow them, and work in cooperation and collaboration with us to create a better world for everybody within our lifetime, addressing uh, the immediate challenges with long-term sustainable solutions for everybody. This is what we're up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. We're an all-volunteer unpaid team, nonprofit organization. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, creating these long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, completed another round of edit requests, updates, and mock-ups, along with adding Michael's latest approved and finalized images to the Earthbag Village Pod 1, Strawbale Village Pod 2, and Cobb Village Pod 3 open source hubs. You can see some of this work here. Michael also integrated another round of suggestions and edits into all the pages shown here. These, like the previous images, are all from the Seven Villages book we're developing. We'd say we are now about 80% complete with it. Hemant Kodaru, structural engineer, completed his 16th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was research and beginning nail embedment calculations to see if this is a viable option for replacing barbed wire. You can see some of this work in progress here. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 15th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, Shadi finished the last set of diagrams for the back storage section, went through all diagrams assigning correct parts labels and formatting, and went through all the steps checking for appropriate use of tool symbols. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village render updates also. Here is update 122 of Dean's work that produced this initial test render of the dining area looking south. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her 19th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week she created this first floor top-down render, and then this second floor top-down render of the residential designs. 
Both of these are now integrated into the website also. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued rebuilding the city center geodesic dome in 3D. We continued the shell structure process from the bottom up, finishing rows one and six, as shown here. The core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 85th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finalizing the living dome hallway in these public men's and women's restroom lighting tests, which you can see now on the website also. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus, was revising the spreadsheet for floor beam layout with the latest naming format and adding notes on the drawings for the beam layout. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 13th week helping with the duplicate city center materials and costs. This week's focus was working on the dome structure quantities and materials costs, additional corrections to the kitchen equipment cost analysis sheet, and researching lead materials recommendations for roofing, windows, and doors. You can see some of this work here. Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, also helped with researching an initial selection of the Control and Automation Systems hardware. You can see some examples of this here. Last but not least, Dawa Feng, Civil Engineer, completed his 11th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he finished pressure requirement calculations and updates for zone H, K, and N, and updated the related piping layouts in AutoCAD some of which you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we researched the R, U, and K insulation values of polyketer greenhouse cladding that may be our choice due to its strength and longevity. We also researched the stout method using hay mulch, and although it appears to work, further research is required before use. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team updated the resource sections of the alternative education pages covering Reggio Amelia Theory and Application, Bloom's Taxonomy, and Howard Gardner Multiple Intelligences. The purple links in the graphic here are new and the best our research was able to uncover. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, helped update the open source AutoCAD template to fix and better diversify some of the HVAC related colors and layers. You can see some of this here. There you have it. Long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges. This is our approach to creating that, and we see a sustainable world within our lifetime that simultaneously, with, with a model like this, that simultaneously addresses all the challenges that we're experiencing today and is flexible enough to address the ones that we haven't even conceived yet. And this is the world that we want to live in, a sustainable world that meets the needs of every person and with enough people living and creating for the highest good of all, that we can sustain that sustainable world, that we can create an environmentally sound world that benefits us all. So with that said, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page, uh, or if you'd like the easiest way to help out, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, join us on social media, like our social media posts, help us share information through social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Pinterest, 
Instagram, Facebook, of course, Twitter, all and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. So you can join us there. Uh, and just thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm a volunteer just like the rest of the team. And so we're creating this because we want to live this way. We want to see a world that that is sustainable and meets the needs of all people everywhere. And uh, so if you're somebody who's donated to our project, thank you for that. If you're just watching to the end, thank you for that. If you're somebody who's emailed us or commented on our videos, thank you for that. Or shared our videos, thank you for that. It all helps. Uh, and if you're just sending us love energetically, uh, thank you for that too. That We appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And so thank you. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on.